what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you're stopping by the channel for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel and while you're at it smash that like button for me i really would appreciate it also hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video if you want up to 15 free stocks moomoo it's gonna give you up to 15 free stocks when you open a new moomoo brokerage account they're gonna give you 15 free stocks for just trying out their brokerage app. When you put $100 in your brokerage account, they'll give you five free stocks. When you put $1,000 in your brokerage account, they'll give you 15 free stocks. There's a link down in the description box of this video. Go click on that Moomoo Moo link. Go open up your new brokerage account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Rich people work to buy assets. Middle class people work to buy things. Poor people work to just survive. From 2019 to 2023, wages increased by 11% cost of living increased by 18 percent how did americans pay for their goods and services well they covered the shortfall by using credit cards and their personal savings credit card debt in america increased from around 850 billion to 1.3 trillion from 2021 to 2023 personal saving was two trillion dollars in 2021 now it's barely 200 billion americans can't keep this up they're gonna run out of money I keep telling y'all, assets rule the financial world. You have to put yourself in a position where you start working to buy assets because that's the only thing that will save you in the long run. A lot of people ask me, well, I got a pretty good net worth. I got a half a million dollars worth of equity in my house. Well, I tell them, I said, well, does that $500,000 worth of equity in your house put money in your pocket? What do you mean? Well, assets actually put money in your pocket. If it's not putting money in your pocket, then it's a liability, guys. And that's what a lot of us misunderstand. A lot of us are out here living lifestyles, buying things that take money out of your pocket. You're not buying things that actually put money in your pocket over time, like assets, real estate for income, paper assets, a business. We have to shift the way we think or we're gonna be in financial trouble real, real soon in this country. My recommendation to you guys to change your mindset and get yourself in a position where you are buying assets cut back on your lifestyle if you have to i've already told you your wages are not keeping up with the things that you buy the only way to right size that is to stop buying things you don't need start living on less than what you make start living on a plan which is a financial budget Stay out of consumer debt, save and invest. Americans have got away from actually buying things that they own. They are in essence starting to just rent things. Sort of like rent to own. It's starting to pick up again. 
because Americans are saying, well, my personal savings are pretty much wiped out. I've already kind of tapped the credit cards. My wages are good, but they're not good enough to be able to afford the things that I want. People have put themselves in that situation because they live these lifestyles that they can't afford. They're trying to keep up with the Joneses. If you go back to 2019, the average household income for a family was around 68,000. At the end of 2023, it was around 75,000. And I know some of you are saying, well, that's pretty dang on good. But again, guys, you gotta look at it against what you had to pay for goods and services over that same time period, All right? Even though that's a nice little increase in, in wages, it wasn't a high enough increase to offset the cost of goods and services, the increase in goods and services. Matter of fact, it was less. And, and, and what you gotta understand, even though inflation is coming down right now, guys, prices are not coming down. Not, not, not drastically. Think about gas. Think about shelter. Think about transportation. Think about food. Think about insurance. Guys, none of that stuff is really coming down. Not like it was back in 2019, 2020, 2021. It, it's not coming back down to those levels again. So the only way to, to, to survive this thing is you, you have to come up with a financial game plan. You got to start reducing your spending. You got to make more money. Those are the things you got to do if you're going to survive this thing, right? You got to reduce your spending and you got to make more money. And then you take the difference in those two and you got to start investing them in assets that actually build wealth. Investments that actually grow over time and create passive income. That's the only thing that saves you guys. I keep telling you that. And 2024 is the year to start. This is a wealth transfer year for us. So please, man, take a look at what you're doing with your money. Stop putting all your eggs in a basket that will not generate income for you. Anything that does not put money in your pocket, guys, anything that you buy, if it doesn't put money in your pocket, it's a liability. It's something you shouldn't be buying. You only should be buying things, AKA assets that actually put money in your pocket. That's it. Unless you change your way of thinking, you'll never build wealth. You can't save your way to wealth. Your salary is not wealth or salary will be gone at some point you can't work the rest of your life now your savings don't get me wrong is is a part of your wealth but remember savings alone is not going to generate enough income to take care of you savings alone won't yeah money market rates are four or five percent right now but they won't be that way for long <laughs> once the fed redo short-term interest rates those money market rates are going to come down change the way you're thinking you cannot get to wealth just through your, just through thinking, oh, my income will always be here. It won't. And savings is part of wealth, but savings won't generate the type of income you're gonna need in order to take care of your lifestyle. So you gotta invest in assets that will. Paper assets, real estate for income, businesses. Drop me some comments down in the comment box and let me know what you think about cost of living increase compared to wage increase over the last five years. Shocking numbers. If you want up to 15 free stocks, Moomoo is going to give you up to 15 free stocks when you open a new Moomoo brokerage account. They're going to give you up to 15 free stocks. Click on that link down in the description box. Open up that Moomoo account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself, stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies 
to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.